Vito Bay Pirelli visiting his alma mater, Rochester, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Super Bowl III. That was back in 2015. Yeah, before there was Broadway Joe and all of these great quarterbacks from Western Pennsylvania, like Marino and Kelly and Montana, there was Bay Pirelli. He died at the age of 87 yesterday. And yes, probably the most historic time during his 15-year NFL career was his time with Beaver Falls, Joe Namath, the New York Jets, in which they went on to win the Super Bowl, and many believe the biggest Super Bowl ever. Yeah, it was long before anyone thought it would become a $9 billion a year in industry. And it was the merger of the AFL and the NFL that eventually would make it the greatest brand in all of professional sports. Those two guys, well, separated by a bridge and a few miles of roadway, were significant as far as that historic victory and a huge upset victory over Don Shola and the Baltimore Colts. Babe Pirelli graduated from Rochester and at times in the late 40s would play in front of 10,000 people in games against such opponents as Al Equipa. He, of course, forged the name in Beaver County, went on to play at Kentucky, and then in 1952, he was drafted fourth overall by the Green Bay Packers. He spent most of his career, seven to be exact, of the 15 with the Boston Patriots and still is one of the top quarterbacks in the now New England Patriots and then Boston Patriots history books. Will he be remembered as the greatest ever out of Western Pennsylvania? Maybe not, but for those of us who grew up in Beaver County and wanted to be like number 15 and number 12, he will always be looked upon as a trailblazer. He is truly someone that is definitely worth more than just a chapter in the history of pro football. Babe Pirelli, dead at the age of 87, and today on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show, Bob the Workcheck and I look back at the Italian kid who grew up to become a Super Bowl champion from Beaver County. So I hope you'll join us at 11 on News Radio 1020 KDKA. Good morning.